The Center for Catalysis and Surface Science at Northwestern is a community of faculty members from different departments with different scientific specialties who collaborate, work together as a team to solve problems in catalysis. The mission and the vision of the CCSS, which is the Center for Catalysis and Surface Science, is to study fundamental chemical reactions that take place in catalytic processes. One of the strong points of CCSS is the capability of bringing together different disciplines to attack problems. So you can imagine we have groups of people who make molecules, study their transformations in solution, and understand how that works. You can imagine another group who studies surfaces and catalytic transformations which take place on surfaces. You can imagine another group which uses computation and computers to simulate and better understand and to visualize all those kinds of transformations, all working together for a common goal. The Clean Cat Lab is a user core facility at Northwestern University and it specializes in catalyst testing and characterization equipment. The main advantage of the Clean Cat Lab for our center is that not all of the groups are experts in catalyst testing. And so the aid that we provide is we help the groups get over the initial learning curve of doing these experiments. We help the research groups answer their research questions so that they can focus on their science and not focus on the experiments. There are three main multi-investigator projects being carried out at CCSS. IAC focuses on four um, areas of activity. These are synthesis of new materials, characterization of those materials, computational modeling of these materials and the reactions involved, and then last but not least, the actual studies of these reactions and the development of mechanisms to better understand them. It's one of the nation's Energy Frontier Research Centers, or EFRCs, uh, so it is devoted to addressing the nation's energy problems, specifically trying to increase the efficiency by which chemical transformations are made for biomass conversion. So one of the challenges of the clean utilization of, of biomass uh, is to be able to remove oxygen selectively. Uh, what we're particularly looking at is how to develop new materials that can selectively deconstruct or transform some of the molecules that are present in biomass. That speaks to the atom efficient part of our name. We also have a very strong emphasis, as I said, on the materials development. So how can we develop new catalysts that are able to carry out these transformations selectively to give you, for example, higher yields to fuels or to uh, high volume chemicals? The Institute for Catalysis and Energy Processes is a multi-investigator uh, research program uh, looking at how to do the most difficult chemical reactions uh, that we would like to do using catalysts, but uh, that we can't really do very well yet. Primary objectives at the detail level, at the specific things that we're doing, are uh, making and understanding at the atomic level new catalysts for converting natural gas, or uh, chemically we call them alkanes, uh, to products that we want. Much of the work in the Institute is in making uh, brand new materials that no one's ever made before, that no one has ever tried to use as catalysts, and to use them for the first time, guided by uh, rational design and uh, even computational theory to uh, tell us what to make and then learning how to make it. The Joint Center for Energy Storage Research is a rather large group of scientists, we call it the Energy Hub, that allows us to address important questions, to get answers, and to get those answers in a very timely way because we have access to all the resources of the many members that are part of the center. And lithium ion technology is the tremendous technology that we have today that allows all sorts of batteries to work in all sorts of devices. But once you've defined and understand what you have, you always want something better. And that's what Jay Caesar is charged with. What's 
beyond lithium ion technology. And so as a result, it's really at the forefront of research. It's all cutting edge research. And it's asking questions that right now, today, we don't have answers to. People really are committed to what they're doing. They see important ways to enhance scientific knowledge, but by doing so to uh, enhance the quality of life all over the world.